Hey YouTube, Opinionator Review here, bringing you guys a video on Octopus Keyboard. Now you guys probably seen this already, it's, there was a preview video out about three months ago, I can't remember, but it was released about two months, ago, like two weeks ago, in the developer's repo, you could add his repo to get it, which I added the repo, I tested it out, I just didn't want to do a video on it until it come out in the default repo, I think it came out yesterday. So yeah, this is my video on it, and I'm going to actually give you guys my thoughts on it while we walk through it. Now, first of all, I used it for an entire day to see how it is, and... I had it there, but I didn't really care to use it. Now, when I saw this, and basically, if you guys don't know, it basically what this does, it puts BlackBerry OS 10 keyboard. It gives you the feature to have that new feature that BlackBerry OS 10 have where you see this here. So if I was going ahead and I was gonna go ahead and, and I'm, I'm writing the road, no, nah, damn it, the road is and you guys can see now words are popping up. I could put I swipe up the road is one um, again B U two C like confirmation. That's basically what it does. Every time you start typing, you're gonna see words that pop up on top of these letters. Now it's pretty cool and it looks cool when you see it at first, but after using it, it's useless to me. The tweak is awesome. The BlackBerry OS 10 keyboard feature is awesome. I, I like the, the um what you call it, the ingenuity, but it I just don't have time. When I'm busy typing and going through my, my thing, I don't have time to sit there and look look for the words popping up over the keyboard it takes too long for me I don't have time for that shit so basically I go ahead and I just be typing away plus plus the biggest drawback to this for me is it doesn't work with swipe selection I can't do that I need swipe selection I use it on a daily basis but let's go ahead and run through the tweet so as I said if you didn't see the BlackBerry OS 10 the new keyboard feature Google it you should see it but this tweet gives you the ability to get that feature on your iPhone for iPhone and iPad touch I don't know if it works on iPad most likely it does so if I go ahead and I'm, I'm typing hey Damn it, can't type from this angle. Hey, what's, you can see what is already up there. So I can go ahead and swipe up, but I want what's as in this with a partial fee S. So next time I go ahead and I type hey, and I go ahead and I put what's, I should see what's with the apostrophe where the hell is it because the keyboard learns as it goes along that's not what i want i want what's there we go but the keyboard learn as it goes along so so say for instance i'm putting opinionative you guys can see it doesn't have opinionative it only have opinionated so i go and i put opinionative and then when i go again to put opinionative you see it pops up up there, I could just go ahead and swipe up. So the keyboard is extremely smart. The developer took his time and he he perfected it before he released it. So let's go ahead and run through a lot of some of the features in here. So first of all, you're going to have to go ahead and get it from the Big Boss repo. You can install it for free, but it's not going to work until you buy a license. You touch on Octopus Keyboard in the settings app. And as I said, you're going to have to go ahead and purchase a license. I already purchased my license and have it installed. It has an enable and disable button. You have the install dictionary, which there's multiple languages. You're going to have to install them from CD. I just search Octopus Keyboard. You're going to see a ton of different languages that it support or dictionaries and go ahead and install the one of your choice you have user dictionary which is the words that you in entered into it so say for instance the learn word so you can see it already has 16 learn words there's a maximum so right now it's on 3,000 you can put it to 6,000 or even 12,000 I'm not even sure you're gonna input 12,000 new words into it so right now opinionative is in their store because that's one of the words I use and I said I used it for a whole day I actually use it on my iPhone 4 this is my iPhone 4 just in case you're wondering you can put learn automatically which makes sense to just leave it learn automatically it can learn from your messages it can learn names from your contacts which is super awesome and you can just go ahead and delete your learn words so if you want to just clear it out you can go ahead and do so let's scroll down and check out some more of the features we have some options right here you can go ahead and set the swipe 
Link. So if you want it to be super fast, you could. I I think I would prefer it to be like super quick. So I would put it on short. If you want a medium hold, which which that's the one I was using, you could do it. Or if you want it to be a long swipe, you can go ahead and change it. I like the short swipe, but I'm just gonna leave it on medium. You can put auto capitalize suggest above the keys if you want to do that if you don't suggest it above the keys i think it suggests it's on the keys let's go ahead and try that out so let's turn that off and go ahead and see what it does yeah oh no i think i have to respring i don't want to go ahead and respring but last time i checked it out i think it did it on top of the keys which isn't good it's better to do it above the keys Oh, it did change, but it, I don't know why the hell it reset, but I'm just going to leave that. If you want to go and write the text in bold, you can go ahead and do that. The text is going to be in bold right on top of your keyboard if you want to go swipe down for Puro. So say, for instance, I'm putting in boy and I want boys, I can just swipe down for Puro. So it's freaking pretty cool. I like how the developer took his time and everything. It's just not for me. Different strokes for different folks, I always say. If you want to increase the suggestion threshold, you could go ahead and do so. If you got have it down lower, the threshold is obviously going to be smaller, so it's going to basically suggest anything, any of the words that you use. If it's up, it is trash. If you have it up higher, then it's going to be more. It's like a difficulty sentence, so the suggestions are going to be limited. So I prefer to leave it where it is when when I uh, install a tweet. But that's basically it. I, as I said, I like the idea from BlackBerry. I like the tweak and stuff. It just goes to show we can basically do almost anything on iPhone <laughs> or on iOS. It's pretty cool, but different strokes for different folks. It's not for me. Like I said, it's in the Big Boss repo for $4.99. You can go ahead and install it. Then you're going to have to purchase the license separately with your PayPal. I already did all of that. Super cool, nice idea. It's a matter of preference. If you want to get it or not, with that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.